Got a competitive stance on overpass. Let's have a look. We've got a lot of util coming out, and already Brokey looking for info. He does catch a glimpse of someone crossing, and they are stacking towards the underpass. Three members ready to try and get an early info. In fact, Masuta wants to bring the fight to them. They are considering it. Yeah, risk, and I guess the unknown is something that this FaZe Clan can offer up. Hmm. So cold for contact. And then they hope that they swing. Oh, but, but from behind, Kirby a little slow. Needs another, RPK denies it, and that's another. Doubles up the tank. Makes a very quick announcement of exactly what he's gonna be bringing to the server tonight. 4v2 as well, not comfortable for the CTs. And it should just be a matter of wrapping this one up with a group force, smoke towards heaven. Olaf about to be completely locked out, and he opts to drop. Heading towards Graffiti Peak. No, oh, a little late on that one, so I will be able to plant all the same, and RPK's already getting into the widest angle he can. Ooh. Good shooting. Would need another. Brokey more than capable, and they've got a smoke kit here. Olof has kind of got to be the VIP. Protect him to the site. Brokey needs some shots, and he's not getting much opportunity. Good dink down to Zywood, but there goes Brokey, and that's really the end of the potential. Starting to fall away from them. We'll get the first round Vitality's way. Zywood even got the smoke, so saves himself $300 with the reinvestment coming into round number two. And if I'm going to be honest, I really think that Vitality should be storming through map number one. I'm not expecting like a 16-1 type of Stark scoreline, but I'm talking in the realms of a 16-8, 16-9, something along those lines. Because for FaZe, one of the keys against OG, and I was actually talking to Yanko, he was watching the game uh, the other day as well, and I said, Yanko, is it just me or is this really scrimmy? And he said, yeah, there have been some really bad rounds, and it has been. And I think that's one of the keys to the bloody car, Jesus, Joseph and Mary, Rangers destroyed RPK. That was a huge shot. But that is the flair that FaZe have, right? Yes. They're gonna go for more retakes. They're gonna take more risks. There's nothing to lose style of Counter-Strike means if you can pull off magic moments like that, you're gonna be starting round number two with a 4v5 advantage. And Vitality need to get really good at saying, oh, you know, and just moving on. Well, so. we talk about Zywoo rounds. I think <laughs> yeah. they're gonna be a couple of just phase Jeez. rounds. Yeah, I'm down to uh, see a couple of those. Now, Rain's still got his very hot Deagle, and he's got a lot of challenges coming out of here. I, I doubt they'll use Util. Oh, they did. Look, a flash, and it's perfect. Rain needs to drop back. He's used a very nice bit of movement there to escape and drop his smoke. Unfortunately, very large gap. He won't be able to hold. Brokey can, though. It's a scout. Not ideal, but will be info all the same. So their toilet's adventures continue. Masuta clearing long sides. Zaiwu patrolling for Rain. And they're looking for info on that B site. They do not want to be caught out with a lurk. So with that info push, Kyobi starting to rotate over to A as well. Cold Zero could basically be left in his sewer position almost solo, and they could even go for a four-man lean towards this A bomb site, and that's gonna be the right decision. Clock now about to hit 30 seconds. Brokey spamming that scout. That's gonna be an audible. They'll know what's on the other side. Smoke's over, and away they go. Vitality have to get in. Oh, that was a hard fight. Ducks under the scout. Zywoo's already taken a big one. And now, very awkward for Olaf. He opts not to spray the smoke. He wants to play close, and Reigns hits another. From the toilet, he's still there, and he's fragging. Big stuff from Rain. Three, could even be a fourth. Zyru's caught out, and FaZe converting the Deagle armor. I mean, of course they do. Of course they do. Big stuff from Rain. That 3K gets him the uh, impact player of round two, but they scavenge away rifles. They get it all, and this is how it started. Nonsense. The tank deleted. This was great. And then the fact he gets hunted, and he still gets a third. Up against the Galil, no less. That's big stuff. Absolutely wild round there, and actually Olaf and Rain. Oh, he pushed at the perfect time. They used to be the old combo. Those two used to be the A defenders for FaZe back when the roster uh, earlier in the year was this similar constellation. Obviously, Nico instead of Kirby. But uh, it's great to see. Everybody talks about Olaf and Rain when you talk to them, in-game leaders or players who have played alongside them, and they're some of the best teammates that they've ever had the opportunity to play with. I've seen some... Special moments from them in the past. It'd be nice to see a couple more here, just for the uh, the romance of it all. Phase, they've got a tidy looking buy that AK Galil picked up. Upgraded into a Famous and MP9 and the Force Buy back from Vitality, that patented Force Buy from Apex. He loves the Scout and even hits a tag. So Rain on notice this time, down to 32. Was soloing the site, but rotations, they're quickly coming over. Brokey's here. Olaf's on his way. Rain. He's opened things up again. <laughs> that's not bad, is it? RPK at least got some blood. And that's another body dropped. Olof didn't quite manage to do too much there. And Brokey's oh. in trouble. They're going to lose this. The oh, site's the been lost. A Glock from Apex is enough. 
And now it gets really awkward. The sound cue, they know there's one Apex, or rather towards Optimus, and Kyobi's gonna walk. Oh, Smokey wasn't expecting React in time. All onto Shox and he's low. FaZe have picked up the pieces. They will recover, and now he's back, especially expecting to see two AKs. Cold Zera's not got any options for him. What's he got? A Galil, no fun, a kit, he's got one. Okay, shopping hasn't bore too much fruit. Yeah, so right there, I feel that Apex is gonna be kicking himself. He Definitely should have killed Kyobi here. You can see that he was shooting first and Kyobi just ducking through the smoke. That was enough. So great stuff there from the Dane. And I thought Apex yeah, had it to be fair. That's to a death fair. slam from me. Yeah, gonna be feeling that one. That could have been the force by straight back, putting the CTs under a bit more turmoil. But that's gonna be the second round on the board for FaZe. So good stuff. They've been able to string two together and that's forced Vitality down to, well, I was going to say save, but they've invested in two Deagles, one of which on uh, Apex, one on RPK, and even one for Shocks. A P250 for Masutra, and Zywa will be holding onto the Glock. Early nade tickles them up with a little bit of damage. And Brokey, he's even been able to upgrade into the AWP. You can see here over towards Long. We'll be working in tandem with Rain, and Rain's being tested for the third round in a row. Oh, he wants to stand and fight. Thinks better of it. He's getting hunted down. Drops the smoke, expecting the swing. I think Shox just took Olaf down jump peeking at it B. It definitely was. Definitely was. That's going to be a big one. I hope we catch that on the replay. I'm looking for his X. Oh, yeah, you're right. Just by the jump. Basically yeah, on Kyobi now. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> the corpse oh. on the other side of the wall. That's cool. Lovely stuff. Shox actually landing it. You rarely see it. Often attempts, rare hits. Maybe they can do something with this now. Back to B looks like it'll be the avenue of attack for Vitality. As I say that, of course, they posture forward towards the bathrooms. But they've really drawn out a rotation. There's three players lingering on the A site from FaZe. They've left one in retake positions of Kyobi towards B over at Graffiti. They're in all the right places. Two rounds in a row now. Have to hit all the right shots, though. Big miss and big damage. Oh no, Zai was jiggling it nicely. Need to hit a shot, Broker. You're getting overwhelmed. He's yet to frag. Fortunately, Cold Zera's picking up the pieces and pulling his socks up. Apex crosses into the site. Broke, he does connect. And no, no. no. Shocks his deagle what? continues. He gets two there, holding his nerve and holding his crouch key. So three then for FaZe. That's lots of damage in a round where it was a very, very light investment. Let's three. see that shot from Shoxy. Yeah, he was holding in the pre-aim. Oh. Wow. Yeah, this is tidy stuff here. Everyone's a threat in the server tonight. Yeah, and that's one of the, the keys here. When we always talk about FaZe, it sounds like we were a broken record, but they are picked up, and the reason that their international campaign had worked, in, especially in the early stages, and Apex put it in the interviews, they can hit some absolutely bangers of shots. And it sounds like the most fundamental or basic side of Counter-Strike, but realistically, once you take the strats out of it, you get the headshots, you're going to win the rounds. As Hello? Uh, oh, that Brokey. is so awkward. How did that even transpire? I think he must have just thought and, and had a completely different visual in his head as to the default spread. Sorry, we were in the playground. Can't believe his luck. Catches an AWP in the open. Just take a quick note as well. We did see Rain throw his grenade down towards a connector. So if we can get a connector cam right now, Rush, just to show people that the door is blown open, it makes life a lot harder for the T side. The CTs in the more recent meta have been blowing that door up. There's a few avenues to make sure you can get control of that. You can jump peek uh, from a lot of different locations on that B site, spam through and harass, meaning that the T's can't rotate so rapidly between those two points. Yeah, you saw Rain very actively pursuing that. Now, Kirby seems to be re-aggressing. He wants to catch a timing here. He would be right to do so. Oh, just as RBK pulls out the pin, Kirby pulls out the frag. And that was a stack nade. He knows there's another. Rain may have heard the steps of Zaiwu elsewhere on long. This is quite a well-spread out Vitality squad. And a Zaiwu, oh my god, he's going for a reload. Rain can't punish. He chooses not to at least. Fresh mag. Rain expects it. I can see it. Oh, but Zaiwu still bests him. He was so loud. He was so obnoxious and rain still falls knew it was coming a mile off yeah that was no secret right there so rain's gonna be kicking himself that he's dropped down and given the number advantage back over to vitality 4v3 now for the french as they're retooling towards the beast now he site. just grabbed an orp he'll do it with that now well they have a molly uh, sorry they have a smoke for heaven they have flashes to make this work so vitality they need to get past kirby <gasps> oh an opportunity eight Time. seconds where's the bomb it's Apex, and he has got it down in time with one second to spare. And all our falling to the native of Shocks confirms that Vitality are keeping it close. Round five goes their way. We've got a 3-2 scoreline and peanuts, pocket lint, and maybe some old chewing gum wrappers for FaZe Clan. And that's the damage of the Deagles. Shocks with those amazing three shots and really making FaZe have to expend a lot on this rebuy for round number five. This one here from Zywu left them 
really just guessing because if Rain goes undetected there, Zywoo showed his presence, Rain probably would creep around that corner in the mid round to be able to come through with a flank if they did opt for that B hit. So that was a massive kill to make, and you can see what that's done. It's going to have to be a partial investment with some upgraded pistols from FaZe, and it looks like a pace change from Vitality as they take Sewer quickly. Cold, maybe thinking better of that boost. What are you doing? And in the open, Kyobi not ready at all. That's two rounds in a row. FaZe players have been caught with their pants down just in the open, punished by this Vitality's pace. Oh, that Deagle bullet hurt. Damn. Cold Zara dunks. Nade won't do too much, but he's been caught out by Rain's uh, oh, case went spray. Down through the smoke. Just straight wall banged him. And that's lovely. Oof. All off Meister's Deagle, clearly well polished and well warmed up. Takes a quick clean headshot into Shocks to stop this from being a spotless round at the bare, the bare minimum. Brokey wants the frag. He's had a look towards Short. Masut is there to contain them. Another HE escape. Okay, all off. Give me more. Please, sir. Just a little more. Thank you. Oh, Olof had a chance. It's Masuta to shut him down. It will be the equalizer. Vitality 3. Phase 3. And now a full eco. So this will be the changing of the guard. We'll see Vitality take the lead unless the impossible happens. See that again. Lovely. I love that quick switch. Like the old school. Yeah. Quick switch off the shot. Very nice. There was a chance there. He hits that third as oh, well. Oh, good to see that face back on my screen. Olof Meister. All right, well, it will be USPs for four and all off with a Deagle. I'm sure those two kills really helped assist in buying that for this round. As we take a look, Vitality are going to be using Shocks to go on a little bit of a fact-finding mission with the MAC-10. You can see how quick he wants to garner control of Sewer here, just throwing out a nade in case the triple boost was in play, as we can see nobody home. We've got connector control already. Four players spread out towards the bathroom, and to deal with that is RPK very, very passive and Masuta to contain rotations through connector. Shock's clearing out B. They're having them in four positions. Cold goes down, and this is the round done. Bomb will get planted. The 40-second timer will begin. And now the question is, how clean can Vitality keep it? Hmm. A fun question. Especially when you know that they'll be taking a couple of risks. There is a Desert Eagle in play. Shocks has a couple here, surely. He's uh -oh. spotted one. Oh, not another one where Kyobi gets caught in the back. Yeah. Heard it. Ah, knife out. USP will not last long. Gets himself $600 onto Kyobi. They want to put some pressure on him. RPK from behind. Poor old Olaf is cream cracker. He does find one at least, keeping him honest. And he's got nine frags, so Olaf definitely head and shoulders uh, above the rest for his squad to start us off here on overpass. And of course, this is an expectation that to see Vitality holding a bit of an advantage in this map. Mirage where phase would have to take us 2-3 in the series. Their pick, Newt the third, with a little bit more playtime. This is the first overpass we've seen from phase since the departure of Nico. It is quite the loss, but with huge shoes to fill, who better than Olaf Meister? Oh. Rookie. Doesn't find anything initially. And Rain's going for a bit of a mission here, getting a lot of early info on long. If he has a glance, I wouldn't recommend it. Zywoo's posted up. Yeah, and it looks like they're just allowing Zywoo to hold off the fountain and long pushes single-handedly. Olaf will be playing in rotation, so a lot of pressure on that individual. You have to rely on clear communication from your teammates to make the right decisions within the mid-rounds. And you can see Vitality, they've taken sewer control. They have connector control. Zywoo now pushing for some bathrooms. Control them all. Top towards divider of smoke as well. And up through connector will come Masuta. So information and territory being taken away from FaZe as they're pushed further and further back in towards that A site. Now with Rain's position, and overseeing from Long Olaf, he does not have to move. Rain will be instrumental in round number eight. His timing and decision making of if he wants to get aggressive. Going a monster now, though. Yeah, it might be too little too late. I think so, because Kyobi. Nothing. Absolutely nothing to report. Now four Frenchmen swarm the site. Only one from Cold. And that has to be a save. So deeply invested towards the potential for A. They're just going to have to keep what they had. Let's not forget the phase. The last two rounds of of play, they've presented, what, 1,400 force so down to 500 and an eco. So yeah. they put a lot of time and a lot of rounds into this buy, and it's gone nowhere. Yeah, they even... You see what is invested for Rain here, for example? He hasn't thrown a grenade, so he didn't actually come in with everything he needed. There wasn't a flash, there wasn't a HE. He hasn't actually shot a bullet or had to use a grenade in this entire round. So that's good moving forward, that the reinvestment will be limited, and the fact that they will be holding on to the AWP and a rifle for Olaf as well, it's good signs. But they need to make sure that they can be competitive. And you can see there, wrong place, wrong time. 
Simple as that. Trade out with the number advantage onto the B bomb site. Bomb goes down and round number five on the board. So Vitality looking clean and not really being made to sweat. You consider where these rounds came from. It was rain going absolutely bonkers with the Deagle. Uh, you can't rely on the individuals to get you 16 rounds. There will have to be some, some team-based Counter-Strike coming out of How phase eventually. You. But it's, the, it's the pivot rounds. You know, if they can get a couple of those and then string some good gun rounds together, then we're laughing. But we need to make sure it's not just the one-hit wonders. Give me that brokey monster fast peek. Okay, he's doing the smoke. That's kind of like doing it, but safer. Instead of looking for the info, you just deny the push when the smoke grenade from spawn does do just that. Overpass, lots of kooky lineups. And actually smoking this, maybe Zywe wants some pace and the nade, bonk, just oh. a little early. No damage inflicted yet. You can see the Vitality default. Take a screenshot of the map now. That is the Vitality T-side default. They can actually leave Zywe to do his own devices, right? Or, or up to his own devices, I should say. They like denying this. Like, they don't want any CT info there. And fair enough, because the rotate's quick. Here comes RPK. Oh, and Cold's won the duel. AKV Famas phase take that every day, but Shox refuses to accept the 4v5 disadvantage, pushes in on the retreat, makes it equal once again. A yeah, great trade from Shox, and now they can actually press towards A. The timer on this smoke, roughly 15 seconds remaining. Go on, Rain. You madman. Oh, I think he gets them both here. I can feel it. A tingle in my dingle, Chad. They surely dismount before the smoke starts to fade. No, 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 no. This, here we go. One and two. Lovely rain. Gets the AK. Give him a third. Apex is going to swing into it. Got to get the timing right. He's sticking around. He wants to fight. Slow him down. Here's it. Peaks on the flash. They evade it nicely, but Brokey's there to catch the trade. Great fragging from rain. We used to call him king of the toilets, Chad. Remember that? Yeah, he was very good in that position. And you could even say the same for Kirby at one point in his career. Oh, how much damage can Shox do here? Orp in hand, 30 HP, bomb on his back. There is a world. Yeah, if Brokey missed that shot, he did not. There was a world for Shoxy there. That's a big win. FaZe needed that, and that was off the back of the save, so it worked. And they'll be able to reinvest right here. You can see some guns just being tossed across, and yeah, I'm surprised they didn't dismount before the smoke started to fade. Always a bit of a risk there on both sides of things, of course. Rain may have been left in no man's land if that stack wasn't Oof. actually being resurrected. It's a nice phase fan with a phase gear. Yeah, it looks like a clean pad, doesn't it? it does. It looks like a clean room. Respect. Tidy mind, tidy... What is it? Tidy room, tidy mind? Or tidy mind, tidy room? I don't know. My mum used to say something. It didn't work. Yeah. Olaf jumps for info, not going to lose his head this time to Shoxy, at least not initially, but he has escaped the Molotov and the nade as well, so trivial damage dealt to Shoxy, but it's not going to stop him from holding once again this standard default. Zywu contains the long and fountain push. Ooh, bit of a gap here. Smoke is quite deep, so Kirby might want to move away. Oh. Spotted out, tagged down, put on notice, and will rotate away from that monster position, but it was a four-man B lean early. You can see rain over towards heaven as well for phase. I would hate, hate to be given the responsibility of monster in a professional Counter-Strike setting. It's just horrible. A long pipe, it's either nothing or four people flashing and nading you. Like, it's just no fun. Put me on A, I'll... Dance around the bathroom. Dance around the bathroom. That's much more my scene. All it right. does feel like it is going to be that B hit. And they've got all the pieces in the, of the puzzle in the right place, wouldn't you say, Chad? Yeah, and Rain's going to be quick on this rotation as well. He's kind of in limbo. Smokes, Molotov's there Drop it, Cole, in. drop it. They're taking their time on this. Oh, that's enough for me. Yeah, okay, so he's going to isolate. They have to use one avenue now. 15 seconds, that's only going to be... Cold Zera playing around it. He's in a good position to trade and doesn't need to. And Olaf's killed two of them. Finally, Cold fills the feed. It's all onto Zywu now. Apex, a little late to the party behind him. The spray's not there. It's good for phase three. Make it four players survive. Rain gets away with it. 15 HP left as his teammates found the Franks. But Olaf, guys, he's on 11. 180 R. Yeah, he's actually had a couple of maps that have started quite well. He seems to cool off within the later stages. And if you go and you look at his statistics on HLTV.org, yeah, there's a lot of red in that column. There was a lot of red when he stepped down. There's been a lot of red since he's come back. And this is something which I'm sure he wasn't even expecting to happen. Dude, so. I, I went for a Hail Mary Twitter DM to him as well. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I was like, hey, dude, don't know, I, just, I don't know what you're doing with your career, but... What do you say about jumping on the caster desk with me and Chad? Yeah. He's like, I'm not done yet, but it sounds good. Okay, nice. So we've, oh. got, we've got a maybe. Yeah. Might well, have been a polite maybe, <laughs> but it's... it's like, a, uh, yeah, yeah, man. Um, not done yet, murder. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah it sounds uh -huh, good. Yeah, it's, um, sounds cool, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah.
Uh, imagine no, I, that, I, I'm going to booking that day. Imagine world's best player 2015 just casually hanging out, hanging out with us. Cool. That would, his perspective, that would be interesting. Kirby's pushing straight as the smoke fades. I can't believe he wins that jewel. I thought it would favor Shoxi. Kirby's quick, though, and the monster smoke will be disrespected. The flash ain't good. Not for Masuta anyway. He's charging up. Kirby, they know exactly where you are, but he looks away. And it enables the Dane to find his second frag of this round. Three Frenchmen. Zywood cutting them down to size alongside the tank, and they've just equalized enough and very short-lived. The bomb will not go down. That's on the back of Apex, and they're kind of locked in to the water side of the site. They've even mollied the plant. You can't plant for another 10. Rain plans to swing on the sound cue. Safe plant, and Zywood's doing some great shooting. Are they really pulling this off? A two versus four. Apex and Zywu making it count. Audio cue, very hard. A nice crossfire established. I like it. Zywu, did he get spotted by Brokey's jump? It doesn't seem so with the use of the utility. Apex is tucked even deeper in. And they're lined up. The wallbang is good, but Brokey hits the shot. Needs the trade here, Olaf. And he can't do it. Apex too precise. What an off angle that was. Elevated and tucked in. Using that. It's not pixel walk. What do you call like a legal pixel walk? You know, when it's just on a lip. A lip really walk. Have a name for it. No, but that's what I'd call that. Walking a tightrope. Yeah. Yeah. The lovely little angle. You can see all the way to short sandbag's headshot as well from there. I, I like uh, when you jump on the, I, I guess there would be the sewer pipes to the left hand yes. side there. You get this really quite odd angle as They're they crouching. come out of sandbag. Yeah, it is, it is. You can use it for multiple different angles on that side. It's like I've seen RPK use in the past, actually, on this. Yeah, like if you go to that those corner. Those right there. Yeah. You can commend it. You can jump on those bad boys. It Thank is. You. you gotta hit your shot. If you don't hit your shot, you're gonna be in a, in a world of hurt. Oh, Wolof. That does not look fun. Oh, neither does that. Rain full commits, and he loses the duel just like that. FaZe have to operate with not only an SMG and a FAMAS, but with a one man disadvantage. I don't know exactly how they're planning to dig themselves out of this. They don't have an AWP. They don't can't say Brokey go kill. Maybe they group up. It seems like they are partnering up Brokey and Olaf and Long. Ah, and Kyobi pushed for info. He wasn't expecting such a passive hole. Shocks shuts down the B info push, and now they'll just gamble. Hope that it finishes A. It's unlikely it will. Yeah, this should definitely be a vitality round. And uh, I think here we're spelling trouble for FaZe. They only get a 2,400 loss bonus going into the next. It will have to be a save. And we're already at the business end of the first half, round number 12. You can see the, uh, the thought process with Rain's Corner, because you may be watching that as a viewer and thinking, that looked very unfavorable. Um, but he was kind of banking on the idea that the uh, contact would be taken by Olof. Saw his initial posturing towards party. The idea is he fires off a couple of shots and then he's tucked into that deep corner. They start flooding in, backs turned. He hears one, Cole could find the Lurk and that will be an AK upgrade, but that is going to channel them into the stack, quote unquote, stack of Brokey and Olof. The lion's share of what remains of FaZe. If they're not ready for long here, they might be in strife. Two players, Olof. And Brokey. Could they're going to let Olaf out. take all this contact. Oh, wow, that's some damage, but it's not frags. Now they're here. A second arrives, and it's good shooting. Just Zywu's bottom oh, visible, way. and it gets all three. <laughs> FaZe overcome adversity. That was a ridiculous round. From the very get go, it looked like Vitality's round to win. I think one of the reasons that Vitality were baited into maybe there's more on the B side is because of how co close Cold Zero was to Monster when he killed Shocks, right? So if he's so close to Monster when yes. that frag comes in, maybe there has to be somebody else in the pier or over towards Heaven looking over towards Sandbag. But you can see from the POV of Olaf and then Brokey just how lined up they were. It was like a shooting gallery. I, I really liked that Brokey completely baited Olaf. Yeah. He completely like let Olaf think it's clear. be the solo. Everyone turns around after Olaf's death and that was Brokey's chance to get all three and that's what he had to do. And I was painting the picture of it was only going to be the 2400 loss bonus coming on through. <laughs> it was going to have to be an eco for phase and they snatch around that's away huge, and it forces man. Vitality into a force buy of their own. Apex with an AK1 for Shocks, a Galil for Zywu and just Deagles and P250s for Masuda and RPK. Really good Molly. Not the typical one you see but look what that's done to Zywu on his playground aggression. He doesn't want to use his very limited utility to put it out, and so he pays the price of blood instead. Vitality might be kicking themselves. That was a three on five oh. that they really just gave away there. Talking of blood, I watched Blood of Zeus on Netflix. Oh, the, uh, the anime. Yeah, but it's like a Greek mythology, which yeah. is crazy as it is, but animated beautifully. Really cool. I got into it. I might take a bit of a look. Yeah, I extended my bedtime by a couple of hours. Damn autoplay. Okay, Rain. Oh, you rascal. There's a very small window where he could punish this. I imagine Masuta or Apex will be given the responsibility 
And here they come. Yeah, Olaf confirms it. He's got a lot Flanking. of pressure on him, and he's just going to tuck in. Rain is working on the modankest of flanks. He could get a lot here. Distracted, does put the bullets into one. Catches Masuta, draws their attention elsewhere. Jiggling on Brokey, still holds his nerve. Can't find the quick scope, but it's all on to Mr. RPK. And a cold Zera off angle puts the seventh on the board for FaZe Clan. Do they orb it up? Three AKs will do. They've got the cash to splash. Or not, actually. No, no cash. so that's curious. They didn't pick up at all for Brokey. Hey, boys, um, I know you're all sick with the AK, but kind of need my AWP. It's FaZe Clan. They need the AK. Yeah, just let him one tap. I guess it's as good as an AWP for a lot of these players. Yeah, I liked how Rain was very conserved about that. You know, he had four opportunities, but just knowing that he could pepper enough and the, the presence alone would destabilize the push. Well, FaZe are actually in a very, very good position to win the half. Uh, every time I seem to say a round is guaranteed to go one way, it falls the other. So I, I think I'll stop doing that. We won't say <laughs> this is a guaranteed round for FaZe by any means. It is just P250s in box to deal with. So it should be very likely. Certainly. But I don't want to get too far ahead well, of Chad, myself. Chad, you've been doing some German lessons. You know what that is? I'll go back to RPK. What's, his, what, what's that one mean? Danger. Yes, baby. High voltage. Danger, danger. What else we got? Show us some German on the map, Rush. You got, I don't know if Chad's got any more German. Uh, yeah, that's that part. There's a, uh, uh, act on. That's danger again. What about the sign from the Olaf boost? To the uh, left? Yeah. Yeah. Where did they take the sign off? There. The Lander Übersteigen verboten. You know the last word. Verboten? Yeah, it just sounds similar to the English one. Forbidden. Uh, uh, I guess, yeah. Okay. Yeah, they make it difficult over here. Like, this words that should be easy oh, are oh, hard. Oh. And shots that should be easy are easy for Brody. Go on, go on. <laughs> With one bullet to spare. Crispy and taffy. Very nice. Well, I think Vitality might want to opt for a little bit of a change up here going into the final round of play. Something just a bit more pack driven. And the reason that maybe they want to go for that is because in that mid round where they lost the 3v5, the 3v5 advantage, yeah. uh, it was not the lack of commitment, but the fact they dawdled around a little bit, set themselves up for multi. Because if they go in here and they actually try and bully and, and go toe to toe, I think that versus FaZe, the firepower in the server here, considering the dip off in form of some of the FaZe players in recent times, is, is probably very level. So it looks like that won't be the case. It will just be the default spreads. I will back over towards Playground single-handedly. The other three dealing with the B, Sua, and Monster, and Misuta. The youngster with the tall task of Connector will have to deal with Rain. Rain's going to get the better of him, but can they find the trade? Shock's not to Cold Zero. It is going to even up to a four on four, but they know that players are home and Rain's peppering as well. Kyoby's going to be the one to find the frags and that's going to leave Apex and Zywu with all the work to do. But this is a lot of space for Zywu. This could be a Zywu round. Look at how much room he has to work with. Brokey aware that the A site has been left, has been given up. So he's going to keep his attention to this push. And I'm not sure if Brokey will be able to hit a close combat orping shot if he gets the timing wrong. Brokey is controlling and he's going to hit the shot. That's the round. That was the one loose thread. And I say that with bated breath. Olaf is staring at Apex's charge and should. Ooh, gets clocked by the Galil. Flames could force him out. It's a perfect gaming from Apex into the first frag. They are paired up. Kirby and Brokey on the site. Rain from short. 30 seconds. That's another opportunity. Apex has cut them down to size. He's getting his individual 1v1s. He spotted another. Dissecting the map. He nearly has the spray, but it's a 9 6 half. And FaZe on Vitality's pick, no less, are keeping it competitive. Heading to the T side, let's see what they've got in store for us.
My love for you is strong. I'm fine. 